We had a chance to speak with the president after uh, his comments, and the president was said thank you very much and was saying no to answering questions. Um, the president and his administration are working very hard to make sure that right, Russia is unable to meddle in our elections. We certainly believe um, that we are taking steps to make sure they can't do it again, unlike previous administrations. Uh, this president is actually taking uh, bold action and reform to make sure it doesn't happen again, but um, he does believe that they would target certainly U.S. elections again. And the president thinks that we have to focus on securing our election integrity in our election systems, which is why he has spent so much time with his administration making sure that this doesn't happen again. Let's not forget that this didn't happen under President Trump's watch. This happened under the Obama administration. We're taking steps. We're making bold reforms to try to fix this and make sure it never happens again because we take it seriously and because we recognize that our election system are incredibly important and is certainly a cornerstone of our democracy. Certainly, as the president said, um, a number of issues were raised, including Syrian humanitarian aid, Iran's nuclear ambition, Israeli security, North Korean denuclearization, Ukraine and the occupation of Crimea, reducing Russian and U.S. nuclear arsenals, and of course, uh, your favorite topic, uh, Russia's interference in our elections. Uh, all of these issues were talked about. This is the beginning of the dialogue with uh, Russia and our administration and theirs, and we're going to continue working through those things. Uh, but those were all of the topics and certainly uh, probably others that were covered. Look, I think the president, as he has said many times before, has been tougher on Russia than anybody. I think you can see that in all of the actions that he's taken, uh, whether it was uh, a plant that was closed due to aluminum and steel tariffs that were put in place by this president. The Treasury Department has issued new sanctions on numerous individuals and entities in Russia. The president has continued sanctions on Russia's malicious cyber activity in response to election hacking. We've expelled 60 Russian operatives from the United States and closed two consulates. President Trump issued four statements condemning Russia's poisoning of UK citizens on UK soil, authorized the sale of lethal aid to Ukraine, authorized military strikes against the Assad regime in Syria and has repeatedly called out Russia's actions, exporting energy to our allies in Eastern Europe. Look, the president has been extremely tough on Russia, and to say anything different is just not true.